you are dreaming if you think that God exists. God doesn't exist in the way that you think or the way the church has been telling you for so many generations. God is everything in existence. It is consciousness. It is literally everything that you see that appears around you that is manifest. God is also unmanifest as well. So things that are and things that aren't. Um, the main religions like Buddhism, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, the main ones, um, are types of entities that consume your personal power or your awareness because you have literally given over all your power to these entities, these projections, and your responsibility has been put on someone other than yourself. So on God or the church or the priests or somebody that you have given away all your power. If this is the case, you are at the lowest rung of spirituality because you haven't even begun yet. At least there's interest in spirituality. That's the most we can give religions, that they are so duped into believing um, the stories, the fantasies, that God exists and he's there to take care of you and you are his merciful child and all this crap that you have literally given over all your energy, all your power and devotion to something external, outside of yourself. That can never be. If you are on the spiritual path and you really believe that you are on the spiritual path, then you have to understand that giving over your responsibility over to entities such as the church in all its manifestations. What's hilarious is that some um, or more of the uh, main religions like Islam, Christianity, Judaism really believe that they are the best religions out there. I'm afraid that this arrogance is unwarranted because not only are they all the same, but they are all pretty much um, there to make sure that you give your power over to something else. Churches and religions are satanic. They are satanic religions. Because only Satanism would be smart enough to get you to hand over your power to somebody else. And you believing it is absolutely incredulous to me. Now, I too have come from a traditional background. My parents are Greek Orthodox. However, I am not uh, subscribing to any of that. Um, religion is there to provide you a fantasy that you should give away someone your power to someone else who will take care of you. And that calms you down. It makes you feel that you're important, that God is there for you. What is there for you is only yourself, your ability to become more aware of yourself. And God is everything in existence. It could be literally moving, not moving, animal, mineral, material, vegetable, table, anything is godly. But the idea scares people because then they have to take responsibility for themselves and they wouldn't want to do that. So really, you need to start from the basics. And that's what I'm doing today is discussing the basics because people really have to understand this notion of giving away power to someone else to tell you how to live your life or living by a rule book as in Islam and as in um, Christianity um, Judaism, which one else did I miss? The rest of them as well. So people who are giving away their power usually will um, have these, anything that they've suppressed or they've given over their power to will literally come back to them as a lack of creativity or a struggle to um, emerge from this strictness of the churches or of um, these Islamic beliefs and things like that. Um, all of the religions, and I've piled them all up into one pile of crap, is really just a way, as I said, to um, give you a way so that you don't have to take responsibility for yourself 
and for your actions and to give you comfort just in case you die and then you know that you're going to a better place. So God gives you those stories in a uh, made up way by the church. Um, people who are so devoted to the church in such great amounts um, do tend to have a spiritual side to them or a desire for that spirituality but it's coming out expressed in the wrong way black people churches when they go into the black people's churches and you see them in um this worship and it the worship brings them to such a high level because black people naturally they naturally can get to those levels those heightened levels of power and desire through their bodies and they channel much easier and so when they get into groups and they do it together and they're worshiping and singing this makes the feelings the vibes rise really high and makes them feel good because they have that ability to do that they're the that's why the churches are so um such a big draw a huge draw for people why they're a huge draw for men as well who um who are tend to gravitate to the preacher role and who are offering themselves as a, div a figure of devotion because everywhere else in society you don't see that happening you don't see black men ever really being lifted up to that devotional level that 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 absolute godly level and in fact really every human being man or woman is an embodiment or a manifestation of god one archetype or another archetype um and this is not even just a religion. It's just how it is that you manifest um, as energy and um, you take on the archetypes or the qualities of God, which can be found in many myths and legends around the world. So um, you necessarily have to examine yourself to figure out where, where you fall. If, for example, I'm an archetype of the trickster. And that just happens to be one of the main things that I have within me. And um, God is a trickster as well. But African stories, if you look back on them, have massive trickster stories and lots of other stories that go back. And to be in denial of the, um, the past and the archetypes of the gods is to be completely delusional. And that is what it is when you are so devoted to the church you have literally given away everything and um your power your your you've put yourself thinking you've put yourself into someone else's hands yeah satan's hands because that's what all the churches are they're satanic they are in reverse of what reality is which is the ability to um be in the moment or live moment to moment and and see the truth of yourself so by giving over all of your power to someone else especially the church um, and as you can see things are already coming out aren't they um, the pedophilia and all the abuses of the church are all coming out Islam is the same uh, Judaism is the same they're all exactly the same where the dirt's been hidden because it's just so much easier to give to get abusive when idiots give away all their power to something external. It's the same with anything. It's the same with giving over your power to your parents or to authority figures at schools. You never do that. That is not what the system, um, that's what the system wants, but that's not what, um, how you break out of a system. So um, if you are looking to do that, the first thing you need to examine is your belief systems. A lot of people, however, are becoming more atheist and um, the movement away from the church in more aware countries is definitely happening. In the third world, forget it, because in the third world, they are desperate to give over their power to someone else and have them take care of them because the awareness levels are so low. And unless you have some interference from external like dreams or becoming lucid you will never get out if you are living in the third world and are unable to get out of box thinking which is religion religion is therefore the lowest of the low it is ancient it's in the past it's pretty much finished now um but more and more people who are stuck in 3D will end up going towards that timeline, which is um, 
giving themselves over to something different, uh, something um, like religion. And there's the other timeline that is more and more people taking responsibility for themselves or rejecting religion and God and things like that. It's coming. It's coming. But um, if you really want to worship God, you start with looking into yourself. Start with understanding your behavior. Start with worshiping and looking on the eyes of love to everything around you, which is um, walking in the street, the skies, the clouds, walking, um, driving, taking walks, the beautiful things, flower markets, fruit markets, um, enjoying the sunlight. All of this is godly. You don't need to be in a church or a temple for this. Um, more and more people who have been in Christianity and Judaism are rejecting this or being more open. Islam, bottom of the pile. I mean, it's Saturn. So, of course, Saturn is going to have a field day with Islam, isn't it? Saturn is um, what created it. Uh, it's time, control, the past, power. And you can see that emerging in the world right now. This um, falseness of power that they have or proposed to have. It's all coming from a lack of power. That's where it's coming from. They don't have power nowhere else to, to, to gain power from. And they've given everything literally away. Um, and there's nothing f bringing in new information to fill up that emptiness or that vortex of emptiness. So, of course, Islam is getting the worst hit of all because of that reason. It's um, the reversal of um, religion again true religion is no religion. It is the worship of the self, the world around you, looking at things through source energy, through love, through devotion, through your whole world. Your existence should be a love affair with God, not going to a temple or to a place of worship where, um, where they gather you and then you devote, you give devotion to someone um, or something. It's, um, it is a tool to use. Um, as I said, black people tend to use it in that way where they gather together in groups and raise the vibration together. This is something ancient that they used to do before anyway, and it's within them. But um, to give away your power to God when there is nothing like that in the sky, a white man wearing a beard and sitting on a cloud. <gasps> no, no, no. You really need to come out of that. Um, devotion, though, can be channeled. So if you're channeling, for example, things like um, if you're truly feeling that way, the Christed energy or whatever kind of energy, you can channel it through you. You could do paintings, drawings of God in how it channels through you. It's a different story. That's different because then you are God expressing itself through um, and manifesting something, which is fantastic because to be a true God on the planet means to become a creator. And to become a creator means an understanding or an awareness that everything you see around you, everything in life around you is definitely godly and sacred. Your shoes, your makeup, your glass, your cup, your kettles, so that's why you need to treat everything with reverence and respect as much as possible. Even things, even foods, even anything you touch as much as possible, um, which is like the story of the man who went to see a master. And before he went in to see the master, he kicked his shoes off, swore at them and went in. And then when he got there, the master said, you, before you come to see me, you need to go outside and apologize to your shoes because even they are God. So let's have a think about that.